words in a different way here. I, I want to tell you that I came here for really a couple of reasons. I don't know good, but uh, it's because of Lewis Orr, it's because of Mark Stone, and it's because of Dennis Hobson, guys that I really respect and I appreciate it and, and I like. And I've been a Division II guy before. And, you know, it's hard to get your program going. And maybe nights like this, you get a packed house. People come in, but I, I do got to make sure because I got into it about 10 years ago with a guy who took a shot at the end. I want to explain what happened. Um, the shot clock did not go off, which normally it does. When there's no time left between the shot clock and the game clock. And you have to understand at Michigan State right now, we have a turnover issue. And I wasn't taking one more turnover, so I told him just shoot it because I didn't want another turnover. And I think a couple of their players are upset. I don't think Lewis was because he knows that's not what I do. And, uh, so no big deal, but I just wanted to clarify that because it's important to me. I thought it was a great crowd. I think this is an incredible venue. To me, one of the nicer venues I've been in as far as just friendly, the way it was. The crowd was great, but the, I just like the whole setup here. And uh, hopefully this will help them. It will help me. They run good stuff. And you got to check on those curls and everything. And at times we did a great job, and at times we didn't do as good a job. And it was a guy like Dawson who at least started to come to life a little bit. <coughs> he did a pretty good job on Calhoun. I thought, you know, even though Apley played one of his worst games in a way, did a pretty good job on Crawford and those two guys to me are good enough to play in our league. And tonight they didn't play as well, and maybe it wasn't all us, it was some us, some them. But uh, that was important. I was disappointed in our rebounding. Uh, I thought we didn't cut out. You know, Eric a couple times contested the shot, ran right into the basket. The only one he's getting there is once they go through the hoop. And they just came in, and they got a good rebounding team. And we all rebounded by three, but it wasn't very decisive. And I didn't think we did a very good job. I thought they all worked us on that. So in general, um, you know, I'm pleased with my team coming from where we're coming, going on the road and doing this. It is insane, but it was it was over friendships and it was uh oh it's over, I'm glad I did. Oh, can you talk about your continuing your mid major tour with Eve here in IPFW, Bradley? Can you talk about what you've learned from this experience and what you continue to do it? You know, I, I don't know. I, you know it's what was hard is I thought we'd have a couple days to practice and we'd practice Sunday, <clears throat> practice Monday morning and jump in a bus and come down here. What's hard is, you know, not many Big Ten teams, you know, I got to take a page out of Bayheim's book because I just saw him win 900 games maybe, but it's it just difficult and yet I understand why these schools want you to play and certain friendships, the Citadel, you know, that was a certain situation for me. Um, so I've done a few things like that. Like Chicago back in the day, Detroit. It, it gets harder because you don't have any games you can lose. And this team's good enough to beat us at home. Trust me. And so I'll probably keep doing it because I'm dumb. But uh, at the same time, when you walk away with a win, I think you learn something going on the road. And, and you kind of, I'm going to tell my team how hard they went to the boards. You know, they had to be a point of emphasis for them and what a good job they did because. They played with some passion. They were hungry. This was a big deal to them. Somehow we got to make sure every game is a big deal to us. Tom, you want your guys to be emotional and fired up. But tonight, BJ seemed to be first, the most all season. Would you talk about that? Is that something you talked to him about? Well, he, you know, we did talk after. Not the most all season. In Germany, he had energy like I've never seen. But tonight, he got back to it until he got a couple shots blocked, and then he got down on himself. The good news is, to get down on maybe everybody. Now he got down on himself. And uh, then he bounced back, you know, and, and you're right. Second half, he made some big time plays, some big time defensive plays. Got a little antsy, you know, going for steals. Got one, gave up a couple of points, a layup, and two free throws that could have been critical. But, uh, you know, I started to see the kid come. You know, that dunk he had was great, and yet the lift he was getting on some of the other ones isn't quite there yet, but he's. Starting to make some progress, and I was pleased with his energy. Tom, the, obviously the still issues with the turnovers, rebounding wasn't as good, but how much do you balance that with 
getting a win on the road that, you know, how much that can be valuable. Heavy if I was, to be point blank honest with you, you know, under my covers or behind closed doors, I, uh, I was worried to death about this game. I really was. I just, I just, you know, I watched and play Detroit. I watched Detroit almost beat Syracuse. I know right now comparative scores are a little bit poopy, but uh, <clears throat> I, I have respect for this program, for this team, and I think Lewis, I mean, they defensively, they did a pretty good job too. You know, they held us down in points. Um, they did a good job. I mean, so I am happy. We'll have a happy bus ride home, and then we got a lot of work to do in the next three days, but we got some days to work in. And Texas will come in with uh, more athletes than you'll see on most games we'll play. I've seen them a couple times. And, uh, guard situation, you know, that kid's getting better. Who knows if they'll have Cabongo? I don't know. But uh, we'll have our work cut out either way, I promise. Now, what was the difference when we talk about, when we talk about everything coming full circle, with you being an assistant here in 1990, getting upset, your team was number five at the time, Judd saying he would never come back down here, everything comes full circle. Can you talk about that, how all that process came through coming back to me? Judd kept his word. <laughs> never came back. You know, I, and, man, if you knew how I felt riding down last night, I thought about that game and I walked in here. And first thing, Lewis, I said to Lewis, boy, I really like this place, you know. He says, yeah, it's a lot better than that old place. He says, remember that old place? And then he caught himself and he almost apologized. I said, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> it wasn't a very good place for me. But, uh, I, you know, I'm not a superstitious guy. I don't wear the same ties or socks or underwear. You know, it doesn't bother me in the end. Uh, I just... Uh, it was something I did, and sometimes I do things two years earlier, and I regret some of them. But uh, when I saw the crowd like it was, you know, in my own way, in my own dumb way, I said, you know what? If we're going to be any good, we're going to come here and win this game. And look what it's going to do for their program and that, you know. So it's, it, it, it was my decent thing to do. I don't know what I would have said if we would have lost. I would have probably said the same thing. How was the difference defensively in the last 10 minutes? You know, we got our bigs to start stepping up a little bit. Um, and we weren't communicating very well on those back walks. And uh, I really think we wore them down a little bit, you know. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, Crawford's out of the game. And I, I give Lewis credit, man. He, if the guys aren't playing the way he wants to, he took them out. And uh, I asked him that after, you know. And, and I think we wore down Calhoun a little bit, maybe. Um, kept sending different bodies at him. Strong kid. I, I liked him a lot. I mean, I really did. I, I think he's a good player. And, and you know what? Give give or give or credit, you know, for his son to come out here like that. And uh, he was four for four the first half. He was three for three from the three. Um, you know, he played his tail off for his dad and his program. That was pretty cool. Tom Bright, did you surprise him a little bit? He did. He did, you know, because he hasn't been shooting like that. And uh, But he played, you know, and I don't know where he got that strength. You know, Lewis is a scrawny little guy, big guy. But the uh, kid has got a great basketball body, and he's got a chance to be a good player. Tom, so, how much of a positive is it that on a night when Keith doesn't have a great night, you uh, have freshmen that can step forward? That's what I told my team after. I, you know, I said, Keith, you uh, fill, him, you know, you fill him the blanks. Because uh, he didn't play very good. And, uh, um, but yet he didn't hang his head. He didn't, you know, he hung right in there. Only regret I had is, believe it or not, Bird has had a couple of really good practices. I wanted to get him in. And uh, Costello, I this close because the rebounding was going bad. Uh, so, you know, I still still want to get down to nine. I just don't know what nine. But uh, I thought it was a good lift for our team for Keith not to be the hero and not still find a way to win on the road. Yeah, with, uh, with, yeah, with Costello playing the way he did the other night, Gown gets a miss tonight. Why? John has been playing better than him in practice. He gives me a little more offense than him. And we were hurting for offense tonight. And, uh, I mean, good question, but like the uh, like guys say about the quarterback controversy, you know, unless you're there every day. Um, and I'm close, man. I mean, Costello, uh, I'm liking him more every day because uh, he's got some toughness. But I will give Alex credit. Um, you know, we challenged him a month ago. He's He's trying to talk more. He's trying to do things. He's doing a lot more things than he did a year ago. He's growing up some. You never know. You know, I said, our team make the light bulb went on. End of his sophomore year, you know. Maybe because, you know, he's 
guys are literally in some ways. So I don't know. I, I just like the way we're practicing. I like the way our team came together. I like the way our huddles work. I like the way our ride down was yesterday. We're doing some decent things right now. We just got a lot of work to do, guys. We're, we're not nearly where we need to be. And maybe we, we won't get there, but I think we will because I think we'll get some time now. A big, big game Saturday. Big. Take, take one more. Can you talk about the efficiency of and efficiency, efficiency is a big thing in basketball. And Denzel Valentine tonight, he was five or six, two or two from three, had four boards. He did a, he did a good job in, in limited minutes tonight as a starter. Can you talk about the efficiency of Denzel? Well, he was efficient offensively. It's at times, you know, a couple of plays, you just got to learn, you know, when they're packing him in like that, you can't drive baseline. I don't know how many turnovers he ended up with, but he had a, he had a couple there, and, and they said only one, but. That guy it might be somebody's friend in here, but I think uh, that was a little bit of an issue. But you know, his minutes um, 16 for him is a little low, but uh, we rotated some guys in there with Trice and, and Kearney again. You know, he doesn't do everything great, but God, he's solid. Hit the big shot before the half, and uh, I really, I really like the way Kearney.